Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Cassie Johnson. And if you're new here, I am a full-time Etsy seller and now Etsy coach. I've sold over $550,000 in t-shirts in the last two years on Etsy, and I am on a mission to help you do the same thing. In today's video, I wanna to talk to you about trademarks and copyright infringement. If you don't understand these when you first get started, you can get too many infringements on your account and you can actually lose your Etsy shop forever. So let's make sure you understand what five shirts not to sell in your store so you don't lose your Etsy account. Today's video, I'll just be going over general shirts not to sell and I'll go into exactly why, but you also need to be checking for any words that you use in your title, in your tags, or even on your t-shirt to make sure they're not trademarked. I did an entire video on this, so I'll link that down in the description as well. But today I'll be covering more of the copyrights of showing you how not to infringe on someone else's intellectual property. So let's jump right in and I'll show you what five shirts not to sell in your store today. The first design not to sell in your store today is any Disney or Harry Potter fonts on shirts. Both of those fonts, so like the Disney D right here, are actually copyrighted and trademarked. Same with the actual Hogwarts or Harry Potter font is trademarked as well. I don't know if they're actually using that one here in this design, but I thought this would be a really funny example since they did mix the two together. So notice they are a best seller. Uh, so I know this is gonna be tempting to want to sell things like this and you're gonna see hundreds if not thousands of other shops selling Disney, selling Harry Potter, but trust me, it is just not worth it to sell shirts like this in your store if you really wanna build a long-term business because Etsy just this year has actually made it so much easier for brands to register on Etsy and then report thousands of listings all at once. So this shop may be getting away with it for now, but trust me, it won't be for long unless they've actually gotten a license from Disney. So make sure to stay away from any trademarked fonts, anything that even looks like a trademarked brand, just stay away. The second shirt not to sell in your store today is actually smiley face shirts. So there is a company called the Smiley Corporation that actually states that they own the rights to almost all smiley faces. They've copyrighted over 3,000 different emoticons and smiley faces. So any emojis that you have from your phone or your computer are completely trademarked. You cannot use those on shirts. But even regular smiley faces, much like this one, can be trademarked. I've not done the research and gone through every single smiley face that's trademarked, but I've decided for my own shop that it's just not safe and I'm going to be staying away from it. I actually just know someone who last week got a trademark infringement on Etsy from the Smiley Corporation. You can always reach out to the Smiley Corporation to see if you are infringing with your smiley face design. They do have the email to their legal team that you can send an email to see if you are infringing, if there's a design that you'd like to keep up. But again, I've decided that it's just not safe for my store since there are so many different smiley faces that are actually trademarked at this time. The third shirt to not sell in your store today is any locations from TV shows or movies. So just like this one here is the Rose Apothecary shirt. This is actually from the show Schitt's Creek. And this, someone is actually trying to trademark currently this exact logo and the words Rose Apothecary. So it's just not worth it because this could also fall under copyright infringement since it is the people from that show's intellectual property that made up that fake location in their show. So definitely try to stay away from anything from TV shows or movies. I know you'll see a lot of people making sales from it, but again, I want you to think about this business as the long-term goal. Do you wanna be making money from this for the next 10 years, or would you rather make a bunch of money this year and then lose your shop are kind of your options. 
the fourth shirt not to sell in your store today is anything with celebrities on it. So Dolly Parton actually owns the rights to her name and her face. So this shirt here is actually infringing on Dolly Parton's intellectual property. And Dolly Parton's lawyers can come after you for designs like this and get your shop taken down. Even if you use a celebrity's name in your title or tags, I've seen a lot of people get taken down for using Taylor Swift or One Direction. You can't infringe on anyone's intellectual property as far as lyrics to their songs, their names of the celebrities, any of that is all off limits. So make sure not to be selling anything about celebrities in your store. The only exception to this is actually politicians, since they are public figures, that falls into a different category, but celebrities are protected. The fifth shirt to not sell in your store today is this one that says, Talk to Me Goose. You're gonna be seeing shirts designs just like this all year. Yes, it does not say Top Gun on it, but this actual layout with these lines and the stars is trademarked. So if you look here at the trademark details, it's registered for a single star with five points, straight lines, bands, or bars, horizontal lines, bands, or bars. So it, the illustration drawing or design, which also includes words. So you just can't infringe on something that looks just like it, but change it a little bit. You'll see a lot of funny plays on logos, just like this one, I just can't. Even though you flip their logo upside down does not make it safe. This is still protected under their trademark. So you don't wanna be infringing on any companies, any celebrities, any logos, movies, TV shows. You wanna stay away from all of that. Trust me, there are so many safe t-shirts out there to sell, like teachers and bachelorette parties and funny mom shirts. It's just not worth risking your account to make a little bit extra sales, infringing on someone else's intellectual property. I hope this quick video was helpful for you this week. Go ahead and like this video and subscribe if you're getting value from my videos so far. I really appreciate all of you who have subscribed so far, so close to 10,000 subscribers. It's actually my five month YouTube anniversary this week, so I really just wanted to say thank you to everybody who supported me, commented, liked, subscribed. You all have been so absolutely amazing, and I can't wait to see how these videos change your lives and you have a great day.